Hey everyone, welcome back to Zaili Software School. In the last video, we we'll discussed about the basic difference between framework and React Next. Now let's explore the features. So tell me one thing: is the user list is a part of React Next or framework? Confused, right? So yes. Sometimes people get confused about which features belongs to ERP Next or Frappe Framework. So today, let's focus on framework features that are common across all the applications which are built on Frappe Framework. As you all know, Frappe is a full-stack, open-source, low-code web framework written in Python and JavaScript with MariaDB as the database. It is pretty generic and can be used to build database-driven framework. Frappe Framework comes with almost everything that you need to build a modern web application. It has full-featured admin UI, uh, we call it the desk, that handles form, navigation, list, menus, permission, file attachment, and much more out of the box. Now let's take a look at Workspace. You will find all the shortcuts for users, role, and permission management over here. This is a shortcut to user doc type. Let's click on the user shortcut to explore all the users in the system. This is a list view. The list view shows all the documents for a particular doc type. Here you can see currently active users in the system. These are some standard filters. You can use them to narrow down the list of records. When standard filters are not enough, you can use the advanced filter to narrow down the list of records. These are the workspaces. Each module workspace provides insightful information and shortcut on one page. So this is a workspace of website module. Now you might have got confused because website module also gets seen in the ERP next and now you can see in the framework also. So now you might have got the answer that website module is a part of Frappe framework. These are some tools which are very common uh, and required in most of the applications. So if you want to do like data import export, uh, if you want uh, like the notification alerts and notification and here you can see the print format builder. So whenever you see uh, in ERP Next, whenever you open any transaction and when you click on print view, this is nothing but the print format builder working in behind. So print format builder is a part of Frappe framework. Similarly, email account is a part of Frappe framework. So whenever you set up an email account or if you wanted to know like any specific enhancement related to the email account, so you have to check the details related to the Frappe framework. And here you can see the assignment rule. So whenever you are assigning something within a group of people and then you apply some rule on that like a round robin or load balancing so that you need to set up through a assignment rule and it is a part of Frappe framework. And this is an awesome bar. Awesome bar, uh, like it is very common thing if you wanted to search anything uh, within the system like any doc type name or any module name, you can use this awesome bar to search anything in the system. Uh, if you are already a part of a uh, Frappe ecosystem or a Frappe Wars ecosystem, uh, this is the gen general term that we use. Uh, whether it's a framework or a ERP Next or any other product, we mainly use doc type, doc type, doc type. So now people also, like people get confused, like what is doc type? So let's check for the uh, to-do list doc type. So in technical definition, Doctype is the core building block of any application based on Frappe framework. It, describe it, it describes the model and the view of your data. And in common man language, it describes basically the structure and behavior of your document or a data record. So whenever you want to enter a data on your sales order or even in the user list, that is nothing but the view of your Doctype. And this is the form view of your Doctype. So this is the this is how you can see the doc type. This is a form builder view of the doc type, and you if you wanted to see the traditional doc type view uh, with the table view, so here you can see the fields. So this is nothing but like we can say the structure of your table or the data that you wanted to enter on your doc type and you wanted to submit as a form. So here you can see the fields which are related to the doc type, and when you click on go to to do list. This is nothing but the view of the structure that we created. Okay. And when you click on this, you wanted to just enter the data. And this is how it will look like. And, and this is nothing but your profile settings. If you click on over, over here this, 
then you can see my profile settings then session defaults and then there is something called as website view so whenever you install the Frappe framework this is the default desk view that you get and and if you wanted to switch from desk view to website view just click on your uh, profile and click on view website here you can see the website view and if you wanted to switch from website view to desk view click on profile again and click on switch desk view so this is how you can use the desk view and the website view and then there is something called uh, there is an interesting thing let's say if you want to change the logo over here then you can just click on navbar settings so when you click on navbar settings here you can see the settings related to your profile session defaults uh, website related things and then there is something called as application logo this application logo is nothing but this framework logo over here so you can uh, if you wanted to use another logo then you can just click on attachment upload the logo and then you can change the logo and here you can see uh, in the keyboard shortcuts uh, some keyboard shortcuts has been given over here similarly in about you can see some links has been given over here open source application for the web okay there is a website link has been given over here second link is about the source source is nothing but like you know this is an open source product and you wanted to check the source code of this particular product you can just click on this github link it will take you to the github account of frappe and here you can see the repositories which are related to the uh, frappe products just click on this frappe this is nothing but the source code of your frappe framework and here you can see the releases details uh, when you click on releases you will get to know like uh, what has uh, what are the major and minor version releases of framework similarly for erp next also the details has been the same if you wanted to check some enhancement related to the user doc type or notification doc type which particular release notes that you can refer for so this is the release notes for version 15 for framework here you can see all the features that are released under version 15 i hope this helps you to understand why we always have separate release notes for framework and erp next if you are interested to learn more about the frappe framework and you want to build a application a real world application on frappe framework so these are some resources that you can refer for the documentation link has been already been given if you wanted to know how to build an application over frappe framework whether you are a developer or a non developer you can check out the build with hussein youtube channel to learn more about to deep dive into the development part of it Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Happy learning. Thank you.